Making four, five or even six shows a week is a huge undertaking and it's not just our stars who are working round the clock to bring us top quality entertainment. Our next award recognises someone behind the scenes who's made a major contribution to British soap. Here to present the award we have a Walford favourite whose on-screen relationship is more up and down than a space hopper on a roller coaster. Please welcome <laughs> the award winning Jake Wood. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be here this evening to pay tribute to a cornerstone of the EastEnders team. Since joining the show in the early 90s, he's written some of the most gripping episodes and now leads from the front as a show's series consultant. During his time, he's tackled difficult storylines with great skill and sensitivity, as well as introducing much-loved characters, including Max, Tanya and Bradley. He was a driving force behind the recent 25th anniversary when he got the entire country asking, who killed Archie? He is a powerhouse, an inspiration, and a totally lovely man. So let's take a look at some of Simon Ashdown's work. Simon has been the series consultant since 2006. He oversees all the creative input into what stories are being told, Stop! alongside writing all the scripts as well. <laughs> He's above us all pulling all these strings, then he can make anything happen. It's a family. It's a family! Fundamentally, Simon's just a great storyteller. When the Brannings joined in 2006, I think he had that story planned out for about three years. Yeah. The stupid, crazy thing is, I still love you. Leading up to Christmas 07, the kind of Max Stacy reveal. <laughs> now you've got a little inkling, just a little inkling of how it feels in here. The whole Billy's death episode. He needs to come home now. I found incredibly moving. Why? It's Billy. Carol found out exactly as the viewer found out, and I think that was really cleverly told. But he's dead. That point where she's walking towards the house and everything went silent, and you just knew that the writer had got some sort of experience in this kind of bereavement. He writes all the dramatic, controversial, most talked about storylines, and he's trusted with that. Mom, this <laughs> That's the ultimate that you could ever hope for from some of these big storylines, is that you're having an impact on people's lives. Yeah, that's a great achievement, isn't it? All you've got to do is lie. The Tony Whitney sexual abuse storyline, he is a paedophile. No! No! Something about Simon's writing just made me feel... It wasn't like that! Like I could do it. When I get one of Simon Ashdown's episodes, I just think this is going to be really good. The dialogue is repetitive in all the right places. <laughs> well, guess what, Ian? I don't love Ian. He writes for real people. He's still as passionate about the characters. It's not too late to change your mind. As he was when you first met him in the early 90s. <laughs> Simon's a master of his craft, you know, he's kind of top of his game. <laughs> He's been there for many years, and I'm, I'm sure he'll be there for many more years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Simon Ashdown. Thank you. Um, you know when they s people tell you, you know, I didn't know I was going to get this award, I really didn't know anything about this at all, so I'm in a bit of a state of shock. The thing that keeps inspiring you all the time, I think, is having brilliant characters and brilliant actors, and I think EastEnders has those, and that's what makes me get up and want to write a story and write an episode, and that's what keeps me going. And I'd just like to thank everyone who works there, the other writers, directors, Everyone in house, Lorraine Newman, the executive producer, John York. Um, it's a real privilege. Thank you very much. 